Hello guys, thought I would just uh, make a small temp tower video. Um, on Maker's World and many other places you can find a lot of temp towers like this. Uh, but usually if you bring them into Orca Slicer Studio, uh, the G-code gets stripped from them. Like in, in some cases here you can have for Bamboo Studio, but not for Orca Slicer. So I thought I would just make a tiny video to show you how you do this. And uh, this is an example of a tower, and it does give an example how you can add this, but I thought I would just show you in the video how to do this. So, without further ado, I have, uh, let's see, I need to find the correct slicer first. <laughs> so here I have the tower, and um, I have PLA, and uh, basically what you do, I'm just going to show you what I did, is... Uh, you go to preview and then you you slice the code um, so if you make a change like two here you slice it it's gonna change it back afterwards like here so originally you have nothing here on the on the sides in the slicer and that means there is no temperature. So if you go in and you uh, go down to temperature, all you will see is just one color for everything. Uh, so basically what you do is, for many of these temp towers, you don't really need to set the temperature. The bottom one is what you pre predefined in, in, the, um, in the filament, but you can do it. So on the zero, you may have to scroll up one and then down, then you right click and then you, or if you go in here, right click and it will say add custom G code. So you do that. And then you can have a list of, let's say, the various uh, layers you need to go to. So in this case, I'll bring on chat GPT just to do the mathematics. Um, so I'm using a 0 0.2 nozzle here because I want to see how it, it, it flows with a 0 0.2, not a 0 0.4. Uh, with 0 0.4 you would have to go to layer 44 because that would normally be printed on a 0 0.2 layer height. With a 0 0.2 nozzle you would print with a 0 0.1 layer height, so you need to double the values. So 0 0.4 you would have to put an input at layer 44, 84, 124 and so, forth, so on. On uh, 0 0.2 nozzles you need to put one at 88, 168, 248 etc. So twice as many uh, layers to input it. So basically what you have is, um, there's two options here. If you want, uh, if you want to just have it keep printing fluently without stopping, you, you select M104. And this is for my Bamboo X1C. I'm just telling you, I'm using Orca Slicer. If you want it to pause and wait until it reaches the correct temperature, then you use the M09 uh, tag in front. So here it says M04 for all of them. You just replace that with M09 if you wanted to take a pause before it continues with the next temperature. Uh, the difference is that uh, for maybe one or two layers or maybe halfway through the first layer after the temperature change, uh, there may be some ruggedness because it's changing the temperature as it is printing. But if you want to sort of put a pause and make it wait, then you can just uh, change all of those 104s to 109s and then it will pause and it will continue to print once it reaches the temperature. Be aware that you may get oozing then because it will basically stand and wait until the temperature is there maybe in the, uh, in the poop chute and then it will go over. You don't use a perch tower for this so you may get some stringing or whatever. But for, for ease of, of doing this just use M104 and then you use the different temperatures. So if you see here, you have uh, at the bottom is 230, 225, 220, 215, 210. So what you do is you, you take one of these values like this. And then you copy that, like in my case, and then you paste it into the custom G code, just like this. There's no, uh, no nothing more fuzzy like that. And once you do that, you do that for every layer. So in, in, in my case, I just also forced it to... Uh, so if I go here and take Edit Custom G-Code and right-click Edit Custom G-Code, then you can see I have 230 there. I just put it there for 
thing's sake. And then you 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 take the slider from the bottom here. You don't use the top one. You can use the top one, but it's harder. So just use the bottom one for this. And then you just scroll up until you get to, in this case, layer 88. And in my case, it it just uh, sort of removes the middle section. And then you just right click and you select edit or add custom G code, depending on what you have. And then you input the G code for the next level. In my case, that next level will be 225. So it's M104, 225. And then you just do that for all the values that you have here. I will put these in the I will put this in the in the description of the video, um, and yeah, that's basically how you you make your temp towers. And uh, the thing with this is that now here I'm using PLA, but if you want to make a, a different temperature, you can do that. You can just take a similar temp tower and you just uh, take it into Fusion and you just wipe the towers, or you just make your own slides or whatever, and you just uh, input this to uh, create your personalized temp tower and uh, it's not harder than that actually so uh, I hope this was uh, uh, meaningful to you guys and if you like this video uh, please uh, drop it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel see you in the next one